Oops. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Heavenly Parent, Oceania. Uh, today is Anshil, together with Reverend Kenji Watanabe. It's Saturday, 12th of March, or the 10th of February, in the 10th year of Chongil Guk. Uh, well, let's offer a bow to our Heavenly Parent and True Parents, Chariot. Kyombe. And uh, let's recite our pledge both in Korean and English. Thank you. Kajon men se e Tony Cook Chuin Uri Kajogun Cham Sarangul Chun Shimako Hanul Pumonim Gua Cham Pumonimul Mosio Chonjue Tepio Tok Kajoni Temio Chun Shim Tok Kajoni Teo Kajon Esne Hyoja 국가에서는 준신, 세계에서는 성인, 전주에서는 선자의 가정의 도리를 완수할 것을 맹세하나이다. Family pledge number two. Our family, the owner of Chongil Guk, pledges to represent and become central to heaven and earth by attending the heavenly parent and true parents. We pledge to perfect the dutiful family way of filial sons and daughters in our family, patriots in our nation, saints in the world, and divine sons and daughters in heaven and on earth by centering on true love. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, Catherine in New Zealand if she could offer the opening prayer, please. Let us pray together. Good morning, our most beloved heavenly parent. Good morning, our beloved true parents of heaven and earth and humankind. We greet you this morning with our love and a heart and gratitude that we can be here together as we start this day together with one another and with you especially. We thank you for this wonderful opportunity that we have. Even though there's so many things going on around the world that we can't meet together physically, but we can meet at this time um, in, this, in this way and that we can see and come to know each other more deeply and more clearly with your father. We can understand at a glance what is happening in the world. And we pray sincerely for the situation between Russia and Ukraine. We pray that this can be settled very quickly and soon, Heavenly Father, without too much loss of life and uh, pain and suffering from on both sides, Heavenly Father, there are mothers, there are fathers, there are uncles, there's families that are losing ones and loved ones, Heavenly Father. This is affecting everybody. And Heavenly Father, we don't want to see also that we have a new president, President Yoon in Korea, who will take, the, uh, will take place soon. We pray, Heavenly Father, that he can really be one in heart with your mother. We want to see the reunification of North and South Korea in a peaceful manner with talks and that can come to a, a very, very good con conclusion with your father. We don't want to see warfare between North and South Korea like we've seen at the supper time. With your father, we want to see peace and happiness on this earth. We want to see you happy with your father. And we want to see all the saints and sages of history who have given their lives at different times for to build the kingdom of heaven on this earth and in the spirit world. We pray especially know that true father is working endlessly in the spirit world with true mother here on this earth and the members of the true family working together and all our ancestors who have been liberated working with your father together. We thank you for your love and heart. We thank you for this precious time. And please be with us as we share this time together, as Reverend Kenji will be giving the, the talk this morning. Please be here with us and open our hearts so that we can receive the words and we can put it into practice with your father each day. Thank you for one another. Thank you for the preciousness of each brother and sister on this line at this time. And for ones who can't make it at this time with your father, we pray you can please be with each of them. Thank you, and we offer up this prayer to you with our heart and gratitude always as we pray in true parents' holy names. Adieu. Thank you. Thank you. 
Let's give a warm welcome to Reverend Kanji Watanabe as he shares with us this morning. Thank you. Uh, good morning, uh, brothers and sisters of Oceania. And um, um, also the greetings to um, uh, Reverend Yutaga Yamada and the Reverend the, uh, the Greg Stones, who must be already in the uh, Philippines, uh, as far well as I understand. <laughs> um, so um, in a beautiful uh, morning, uh, today, as a, which is uh, Ansio, um, <clears throat> and um, just uh, the wondering the how have you been past eight days? Um, for me, uh, of course, a lot of things I need to do um, in this position, and but uh, um, uh, because of the um, yeah the world situation today. My heart the, um, goes to um, yeah, what's going on in the uh, Europe and also the uh, yeah, Korean Peninsula. And um, uh, some good news uh, came up um, yeah, in Korea as the, I think the um, um, person who uh, closer to our movement was the uh, elected uh, as the next president of the Republic of Korea. But um, the, uh, uh, the conflict in um, Ukraine and uh, Russia um, seems continuing. And uh, yeah, I um, inevitably uh, the watch the um, uh, news, you know, <laughs> uh, almost every hour what's going on. So I think the, uh, most of you also uh, pay attention to the, what's going on um, yeah, the, in the uh, Ukraine. Anyway, today's topic I uh, picked up as the, uh, the true unification and uh, one world, which was given um, on 10th of April, 1990, at the um, uh, 11th World Media uh, conference, which was held in uh, Moscow uh, as the um, world attention goes to the uh, yeah, Moscow and uh, Ukraine at the moment. So uh, um, I just found that the uh, very uh, um, the insightful contents uh, to the father gave to uh, people in the Soviet Union at the time. Um, so I'd like to share. Let's begin. So it's a great honor and a pleasure to convene with you this historic 11 World Media Conference in the city of Moscow, the capital of Soviet Union. The theme of this conference is the advancement of global communication and cooperation. And I feel there is no place more appropriate to gather for these discussions than right here in the Soviet Union. Furthermore, it is an added pleasure for me to open these proceedings because we are uh, simultaneously conducting the third conference of the Summit Council for World Peace and uh, gathering of the Association for Unity of Latin America. Both of these excellent organizations are also committed to the quest for world peace. For me, to come to Moscow is an emotional experience. I would like to express my appreciation to the Soviet government, especially the officials of the uh, Novosti Press Agency. So you have welcomed us to your great capital in a uh, most hospitable uh, manner. My wife and I and our entire family are moved by your kindness. I am sure that all of the guests in this room who have come from every corner of the world, including former heads of state and government, will join with me in expressing deep gratitude to our host in this country. So would you join with me in giving them a round of applause? That's the uh, opening 
uh, speech. And Father, I really appreciate the uh, hospitality um, given uh, by the, um, um, the uh, media uh, agency in the Soviet Union and um, um, yeah, government as well. I was recently asked by members of Soviet media regarding my views on the importance of a spiritual renaissance as a precondition to social, economic, and political progress. I would like to take this opportunity to elaborate on some of these, uh, those views. I believe that such a spiritual renaissance is vitally important. To achieve it, so we need to uh, deepen our understanding of the human condition. This call for some reflection on the philosophical and the religious topics. It may not directly concern either communications or media, but for me, it is fundamental understanding necessary to secure true peace in our world. Furthermore, it is the essence of what I have discovered through my lifelong search and the core of my teaching. So since um, Mr. Uh, Mikhail Gorbachev the, um, uh, took uh, the uh, office of the Soviet Union in 1985, Glasnosti uh, and Perestroika have been um, the um, <clears throat> announced and uh, um, they uh, created a more uh, free atmosphere to accept the um, uh, spiritual, um, the uh, <clears throat> spiritual, the uh, nourishment. And uh, the media at the time was really curious about the uh, uh, through, pa through uh, parents, the teachings. And uh, this speech is, I think, the uh, uh, 40 or 50, 50 minutes long. So uh, just I, um, I picked up the um, uh, headlines of the uh, speech, uh, which are quite interesting. After the um, um, greetings uh, to Father, start talking about the um, God, God's original ideal. And um, then uh, looking at the, the world of today, um, so talking about the man's separation from God and um, the followed by a struggle of good and evil. And um, also they are talking about the conscience, which um, they enable the people who uh, don't know really about the uh, God, but still um, the true father could engage with the uh, audience um, of the Soviet Union. And um, concluding that the uh, conscience is a teacher and a parent. And after that, talking about the um, uh, Lord of religion and um, and talking about the importance of religion, not the uh, religious organization, religion. And then um, the historical path for the religion's law and the restoration of God's ideal, the true father shared with the uh, media people um, and the people in the Moscow, Soviet Union. That's quite a, a uh, revolutionary things. Uh, um, when we listen to those things, um, and out of the um, the uh, providential viewpoint. So then, so I'd like to um, to read the um, the following the uh, passages that Father keep talk uh, keep the um, uh, giving the speech. God centered worldview. Throughout history, God has been working through human conscience. 
in spite of the God's efforts. However, every attempt made thus far to restore man into the original starting point, the heart of God has failed. It still remains for someone to liberate humankind from this satanic environment and lead a successful search for the truth and true love. That is a mission of the unification movement. Godism is a God-centered worldview whose essence is the idea of true love. Godism has two distinct missions, bring unity between God and man and bring unity between mind and body. Since I have discovered a solution to these two fundamental problems, the unity of mind and body and the unity of man and God, I must proclaim this truth as clearly and effectively as possible without any hesitation. So when you follow this teaching, I assure you that you can definitely conquer the carnal desires of your body you can become 100% united with your mind, then you are eligible to become the true object of God and establish a true partnership with God. So Father, they boldly speaking of, about the essential principle <laughs> um, to um, the audience over there. That's really amazing. Um, actually, I um, have been reading the Father's Word uh, recently and uh, found out that, um, um, well, people in America and, uh, they, and oh, even China, uh, the where the people are uh, really um, following the uh, kind of destructive uh, kind the, the lifestyle, um, pursuing their own the um, uh, uh, indulgences, uh, well the sexual immorality, those kind of things. And the father mentioned that people in Soviet Union was the less than comparing to uh, America and uh, China. Uh, yeah, I haven't checked myself, but uh, that's an interesting the, uh, uh, insight uh, coming from Father. So let's continue. Whenever two people are bound together with true love, they are entitled to these important rights. First, the light of inheritance. Second, the light of dwelling together. Third, light of participation. Take for example, the relationship of a husband and wife. The husband might be a president of a great nation, while his wife might be a woman of very humble origin and a very little education. If they tru truly love each other, however, they are equals. They own all things in common, live together, and participate on an equal level. In the same way, when men and women are connected to God through true love, they will also enjoy the rights of inheritance, participation, and living together eternally with God. When you reach this depth of heart, you will constantly experience the presence of God, and God will truly dwell among men people. Then father uh, keep talking about the um, uh, true parents. So true love always travels the shortest distance with the fastest speed. Therefore, true love coming from God to the earth travels the shortest distance, vertical line. The love between man and woman also travels the shortest distance, forming a horizontal line. When the vertical true love meets with the horizontal true love, 
the crossing point must absolutely be 90 degrees. There is no other way these love lines can intersect. Then who is God? God is a vertical true parent centered on true love. He is the intimately to each of us, across to each of us, because he is our vertical parents. So when we welcome the perfected human ancestors, perfected Adam and Eve as true parents, so we create a 90 degree crossing point between the vertical true love of God and the horizontal true love of true parents. So we have two sets of true parents from them. So we receive true love, true life and true blood lineage. This creates one world totally resonating with true love. So almost the um, uh, teachings are given to um, the members. Uh, how many people understood the, what the father said at the time? But anyhow, this is a declaration the father always does. And the father talking about the Soviet Union in the speech. So ladies and gentlemen, I am very grateful to have the opportunity to share with you uh, these reflections on the nature of God and humanity. I am also very happy to be here in the Soviet Union. My heart truly goes out to the people of the Soviet Union. Many of you have gone through unbearable suffering and that saddens me. I love your country and uh, your people very much. I clearly envision a moral and economic renaissance for Soviet Union that will dramatically affect the entire world. I will do all I can, I can to encourage and uh, support that renaissance. So I put the photo um, the, um, of the meeting uh, between um, Mikhail Gorbachev and the true parents. Yeah, it's a historical photo. Then Father continues, I have been speaking about the importance of the family, but I want to tell you that in the depths of my heart, I feel that the Soviet people are part of my family. I assure you that my wife and children feel the same. Also, I assure you that members of the unification movement worldwide will do their utmost work together with you for the future prosperity and the well-being of all humanity. I believe that Soviet Union will play a key role in God's plan to build a world of lasting true peace, this vast union of nations, which stretches from the Far East with its border on my country of Korea to the very heart of Europe, vast place of Western civilization has a natural destiny to be a bridge between Europe and Asia. So we must regard ourselves as being all members of the one global family living in one global house. So that's the basically conclusion of the um, father's speech uh, at that time. And um, just uh, after reading uh, this speech, I just saw that uh, what mother is really thinking of the situation, what's going on in Ukraine. Um, media described this, that is the war between uh, Ukraine and Russia. But from the God's point of view, true parents' point of view, um, truly not able to say which is the uh, the um, uh, winner, which is the loser, or the bad, uh, good or the bad. Uh, they are all the um, sons and daughters of God, and um, <clears throat> interestingly, uh, true mother. Um, talking 
in the speech, I think that the um, Reverend Yutaka shared the other day, um, through mother was not the, uh, using the uh, name uh, Russia, but used the uh, uh, Soviet Union. Actually, Soviet Union is the, um, um, the union of the um, states and uh, Ukraine and Russia was the uh, one union. And um, President Putin is now the uh, targeted as the evil of evils, uh, according to the media. Well, uh, nobody uh, can cannot uh, um, really uh, uh, justify the um, uh, his act as the commander of the uh, military. However, um, we. Uh, at the same time, we cannot um, the, um, um, the agree what um, the media uh, are talking about. So we need to have a look at the situation from the God's viewpoint. And um, so people of Ukraine and uh, Russia are the same people as uh, President Putin said that they are same people, then why they fight each other. I um, observe that this is the uh, uh, phenomena of the true last days. And uh, let's look at the uh, what, what happened in the very beginning of the human history. Um, yeah, Adam and Eve and uh, Archangel Lucifer who wanted to um, dominate the um, um, dominate the uh, human being and also the world. And uh, also um, we look at the um, Abel and the Cain and also the Satan. So um, um, this conflict seems that uh, invisible uh, power who is trying to make uh, their own kingdom, letting the uh, brothers fighting each other. So this is a phenomena of the last days as Satan always the uh, mocking um, the what God is trying to do. So based upon that, the uh, uh, analysis, when we look at the um, uh, what the true mother is trying to do these days. So as we all the um, uh, witness, witnesses of the what true mother uh, has been trying to do. So she is trying to create the uh, one global family um, world uh, government body, uh, which gonna be uh, open officially next year in form of the Chong Wong Gun. So uh, interesting, the, um, um, the um, things is going on. So anyway, yeah, we all the sorry for the um, uh, people who are suffering. At the same time, um, yeah, we uh, are supposed to focus on what we are supposed to do now for the, uh, not the um, uh, short term uh, things, uh, rather thinking of the um, um, future for the um, uh, uh, eternity. So let's have a look at the, um, um, uh, providential, um, the significance uh, behind the um, uh, father's uh, activities and the uh, event. So this speech was given um, April 10th in 1990, which was actually visit to the Moscow was the um, uh, not simply done by external uh, arrangement uh, due to the um, uh, necessary foundation that true parents made 
So because of that victory, um, such uh, events um, were unfolding. So proclamation of the heavenly parentism, the in Chinese character at the time uh, called the describe like um, uh, what like this. Um, chom jugi, uh, So actually, original meaning of the Chinese character is the uh, heavenly father's uh, the way of heavenly father. Or something like that. But uh, in the context of the um, providential development of today, uh, we can uh, put the uh, heavenly parentism. So um, let me read the, some uh, excerpts from the father's words. So on the foundation of the um, proclaimed the ceremony for the settlement of the eight stages uh, through parents, proclaimed heavenly parentism on September 1st, 1989. As the, um, the ceremony of settlement of the eight stages was they held uh, in Alaska so, uh, on the 31st of the August. I think uh, uh, just recently uh, through mother uh, talking about, uh, I mean, in the uh, anthology that the Reverend Yutaka shared. And let me continue reading here. So there are no parents in the democracy of America. Only brothers are fighting with each other. Democracy is falling. And we need heavenly parentism instead of uh, democracy. The age of heavenly parentism is an age without enemies. So um, then we can um, really um, think of the um, uh, meaning of the um, headwing thought, um, which is the um, embracing the right wing and left wing. Uh, but many, uh, many cases we are uh, still thinking of that uh, yeah, light wing is the uh, um, uh, mostly light and uh, the left wing is the uh, um, absolutely bad. Well, um, <clears throat> actually we also acknowledge that the, what the left wing people are saying, they are actually um, the uh, support, uh, supporting for the, uh, um, the vulnerable people. And that's the uh, um, the heavenly parents' intention as well. So we really need to have a look at the situation from the uh, parents' viewpoint. So then I'd like to share some father's words uh, related to um, Moscow event. After completing my uh, week-long stay in the Soviet Union, I shared uh, tears. With I left, I said, Moscow, goodbye. I will be back. I will return before you. I know it. I will send my representatives. Then I, as I left, I had a voice. It was a voice of the countless spirits from Soviet Union who are in the spirit world. They said, please come back. Well, true parents are not simply a leader of the um, anti the communist uh, communist the um, um, communism um, as a spiritual leader and uh, um, after all as a parents of the humankind. Listen to the uh, voice from the uh, people who are victimized um, from the spirit world and um, um, cannot sleep uh, the listening to the such voices all the time and uh, 
I'm sure that the true mother situation is the same uh, of today as well. Anyhow, um, <clears throat> yeah, we are all supposed to complete the um, uh, tribal messiahship uh, to become the Chombo families. That's the, um, uh, the, our uh, individual goal and uh, the family goal as well. But after all, true parents want us to, to, um, to attend, uh, to restore the uh, nation and the world. And um, uh, we need to keep the uh, such mind all the time when we uh, witness the uh, people. Um, I uh, got the um, uh, much smaller scale um, as comparing to the uh, true fathers, um, the um, saying here, that has a very similar experience uh, I and my wife had um, when we had to leave uh, Fiji. Actually, um, the, um, in Homo Dream, I saw that um, many people uh, thanking us, not because of the, our uh, effort or our ability as representative of true parents in that country, they really appreciate it. So uh, such, yeah, the uh, dream uh, never ever for, uh, forget. So, and uh, yeah, let's move on. Uh, <clears throat> Through uh, the Moscow rally, Moscow rally, the worldwide restoration of elder sonship was completed. Uh, this was the uh, true mother's word. So worldwide restorations of elder sonship was the uh, completed um, by meeting the um, um, Mikhail Gorbachev, who represented the um, um, the uh, of the um, international communism. And I'd like to share, uh, I think, uh, um, yeah, uh, just a couple of slides more. So this speech um, uh, includes the headwing uh, philosophy uh, clearly, so that's why I picked up, uh, it was, uh, which was given July 6, 1990 with title, uh, Heaven is Calling Korea. So that was the uh, part of the um, um, couple of cities or several cities of the tour uh, to report the victory of the visit to the Moscow. Uh, let me read. Now, headwind philosophy has brought democracy and communism into line uniting horizontally the left wing and the right wing. And it has united vertically the spirit world through Godism, ushering in the age of complete unity, which is also the age of true parents of heaven and earth. Thus, so we can leave behind a world of selfishness where we desire others to live for our sake and other ones to the original world that is free of Satan's control. In the original world, we live for the sake of others based on the true love of God and true parents. It is a world of the kingdom of heaven in heaven and the kingdom of heaven on earth. So it is a world of the altruism and unbounded concern for others based on true love. The original world has nothing to do with the realm of spiritual death that is drenched with the uh, scheming, slander, and mistrust. By engrafting human beings to the foundation of the true family on a global scale centered on true parents, so we will establish new restored families and a new order and a return to eternal ideal world centered on God. So finally, 
um, I just skipped the um, uh, contents um, between uh, the word that I read and here. And uh, Father saying that finally, Lebanon Moon, with the support of the Unification Church, could establish the position of global true parents successfully. This triggered the fall of communism. So we laid, laid the worldwide foundation by following heaven's strategy of being struck first, standing in the worst possible position and receiving the opposition of the entire world. So we went beyond China and the Soviet Union until Mikhail Gorbachev, who was in the position of the enemy, received us warmly with that. So we began a providential new world. It was similar to the meeting of Jacob and Esau in the Old Testament age. So in that meeting with Gorbachev, I represented the United States, Japan, and Korea in the position of Jacob, while Gorbachev represented the Soviet Union, China, and North Korea in the position of Esau. When I met him, I planted the true love of heaven in his heart. It was like when Jacob wrestled with the angel and brought Satan to voluntary submission. Then all that was left for Esau to do was to become one with his brother and to serve the heavenly parent. Likewise, the only way the communist realm can survive now is by becoming one with its brother the free world, and serving the heavenly parent. My meeting with Gorbachev was the greatest event in history. It was the new beginning that brought victory to heaven's side. That is why I returned to Korea right away and at the welcoming rally declare to the people of Korea that my wife and I are the true parents. Then heaven could dig in and bring him either son and even Satan himself to retreat bluntly. Now let's just wait and see what will happen next. So father's speech was given in July in 1990. And um, the um, 1991, the historical um, the visit for true parents to um, uh, Pyongyang to meet the uh, Kim Il Sung happened. Such the event uh, happened not as uh, randomly, with the um, each single step that uh, true parents paved as the uh, foundation of the victory. So Father also uh, talking already about the Pacific Rim era uh, in those days, actually about uh, more than 30 years ago. So you already must know that the scholars worldwide foresee the coming of the Pacific Rim era. The question is how it will come about. It is for this purpose that God has blessed Reverend Moon and Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, all of us whether in business or other field, now need to gather our hearts together to liberate North Korea and advance toward, um, toward the unity throughout the world. So we will usher in the age of global family where we can lay the foundation on which we can live for tens of thousands of years while serving the uh, heavenly parent. So through parents, uh, already knew the, what the, which direction the world is heading uh, already 30 years ago. And uh, early year 2000, uh, through Father, they emphasized the Pacific Rim era uh, again. And uh, through Mother is a successor and uh, the uh, true parents trying to conclude the um, left mission uh, by the father to complete. So um, um, <clears throat> anyway, 
uh, when through parents met the Kim Il Sung, well, we uh, regard that that's a historical the uh, um, the uh, Jacob and Esau's um, the um, the unity, but uh, from the uh, provincial point of view, uh, true parents already declared themselves as true parents and uh, met the Kim Il Sung as a true parents. That's why they could embrace uh, Kim Il Sung totally with a parental heart without any uh, resentment and hatred. So because of the victorious foundation that true parents made in a worldwide level, then uh, actually meeting with Kim Il Sung was the, uh, uh, in a sense, national level. So um, in the same token, what the true mother is trying to do in these days, um, that's exactly the same pattern that the father uh, was doing. And um, based upon the victorious foundation of the World Summit 2022, now is a time to really um, focus on the North Korea. But of course, the, what's happening in the world, um, the, in the West, uh, <clears throat> which is a, uh, really related to uh, what's going to happen in um, in the in the east after all russia china and north korea already are connected uh, in in a sense and uh, really hope that uh, the situation of two malls um going to be uh, sorted out from the um, um, true parents uh, initiative as soon as possible. And uh, this is a final slide and uh, I'd like to finish. Um, so anyway, always uh, the essential of the unification thought is the uh, resource of the inspiration for me. <laughs> and uh, so the, the Dr. Sanford Lee is a founder of of the institution of the unification south, the mentioning about the um, uh, godism. And uh, let me conclude this uh, presentation with this, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, this reading. Only godism or headwind thought or unification thought with its spirit of promoting love for others from the perspective of God-centered view of values can overcome the hatred, hostility, and the materialism or communism, left-wing ideology, and eradicate the egoism and the self-centeredness of democracy, the right-wing ideology. So this will go far to reconcile these two opposing wings and can guide people on both sides to advance together towards the realization of an ideal world, and long cherished desire of both God and humankind. So as mother said that the, uh, you know, um, without the um, um, inviting the heavenly parents, we uh, want to be able to solve any problems. Um, so uh, let us create the God-centered the culture, uh, starting from the, uh, the, our family and uh, our community. Uh, and expand into the society. So that's all uh, for today. And uh, thank you very much for your kind attention. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Reverend Watanabe. Thank you for uh, uh, sharing with us your, your heart and your uh, insights. And uh, yeah, this time of uh, uh, the uh, potential yeah, born of a, a united Korea. Uh, I was uh, uh, struck by um, and thought about you know this idea of heavenly parentism, yeah, and uh, yeah, the, yeah, that's the ultimate goal, the ultimate uh, point in which you know, uh, we can bring uh, the whole world together, and it automatically requires children because a parent can't be a parent without children 
So heavenly parentism requires the children. And, and then I was reflecting on eldest son and recognize that there are actually two elder sons. You know, we always think there's only one elder son, but because of the fall and the expansion of uh, uh, the fall that took us to the, the world level, we actually have two elder sons. Yeah, and, and that's why father uh, in that reading could say that Soviet Union completed the elder son's uh, restoration because we got uh, two elder sons, an internal uh, elder son, which is God's core uh, family, and then the external son, which is the result of the, the fall. And so we, that means we've got two Cains, it means we've got two Esau's. Yeah, and, and that made me start to, to realize yeah, the, the complexity of the restoration process uh, because the, the united family uh, comes to both sides and then unites together. So I, uh, I could see, uh, you know, my mind just started you know, thinking of uh, so many uh, uh, ways in which uh, the complexities of that restoration. And so uh, they're, they're both elder sons. Uh, uh, when, when we you know, look at you know, the, the right wing and the left wing, uh, yes, they have a Cain Abel dynamic, but they they represent uh, on the external level uh, the best of both worlds. Democracy uh, uh, trying you know, to promote freedom, but but at the same time harboring uh, selfishness and and the, the Soviet uh, the communism uh, you know, talking about bringing people together, but. But unfortunately, you know, resulting in a lot of pain and suffering. So, you know, really, uh, we need a heavenly parent, and we and it basically, as it said in the beginning, we've got two parents. You know, we've got the heavenly parent and the true parents, and one to deal with the internal uh, conflict, and one to deal with the external conflict, and and it's all merged together. So, I was having those sort of thoughts about. Yeah, this whole uh, the course of the fall, how much it com complicated, yeah, you know, just the the normal passage of bringing about a you know, one world family. Uh, so uh, we don't have much time. We actually reached our time. Uh, uh, but uh, if there's a some people who'd like to make a comment, we we can uh, make that available now for a couple of people. If there's anyone who wants to make a comment. So thank you. Uh, yes, Kim, go ahead. Yeah, just very quickly. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Kenji. I really uh, kind of sums up my thinking about world politics. And uh, and when I joined the church, the idea of bringing together people of diverse viewpoints and finding the good sides of both and, uh, and then finding uh, that uh, headwing ideology uh, I was quite shocked in the early days of the church once when uh, um, some members were working with the Democratic Party and, uh, and then they were ostracised within the church because they were working with the Democrats and I, I just felt like, are we headwing or are we, uh, I'm not even sure Father had even mentioned headwing in those days, but um, are we supposed to be bringing people together or a or are we sort of taking sides in this uh, uh, greater worldwide us and them uh, conflict? So thank you. Yeah, thank you, Kim. Uh, yes, Reverend Ito, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you so much, the Reverend Kenji, to the insight about the true parent, heavenly parentism and the end of the like uh, able kind era. And uh, this is uh, the end of communism, just uh, uh, Reverend Sun Han Li, uh, he mentioned about this uh, picture of a communism. Uh, we really study and we teach so the ideology the, uh, teaching many times. And finally, the substantialized, you know, and myself was sent to the Soviet Union the CIS Russia, just after the fall of Soviet, uh, I saw the reality and uh, 
Clearly, this means in a very realistic uh, how father guided and the uh, era has changed because to Pan's victory. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, Reverend Uto. And we have uh, uh, Tim Sisterson with his hand up. Go ahead, he could be the last person for today. Yes, Tim, you there? No. Barbara had a hand up. Yeah, go ahead. Can you hear? I was just. I was just. Oh. Okay. So who's talking? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Barbara, you wanted to say something. No, yeah. no, it's not important. I just wanted to hear how everybody was in the Philippines. And I'm also just, you know, I'm just so upset about what Rush is doing, but it's okay. I don't know how to deal with it. I'll work on it. Okay. Uh, Reverend Yutaka? Yes, yes. Yeah, we can hear you, Reverend Yutaka. Go ahead. What, what how, is, is, how is the Philippines and how are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We arrive here at uh, 11 a.m. Then we arrive. How do I remove the Skype now? 1 a.m. Um, yeah, yeah. Now it's 3, 4, 4 a.m. So anyway, we are fine. We will meet tomorrow, everyone. Okay, thank you. And, and Greg, yeah, yeah, you wanted to make a comment? Uh, no, I was just going to say <clears throat> greeting to everyone. Uh, we're in the same room, although we don't look like they're in the same room. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Revenue Tucker hasn't had any sleep at all, not one wink. Um, <clears throat> he's just been preparing. So at just the time, we lost three hours and it, we arrived really late. So um, yeah, it's been a bit of a challenge on that side. But Anyway, lovely, uh, lovely um, teaching. Really, really nice. Thank you, Reverend Kenji. Beautiful today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Reverend Yutaka. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I think uh, it's, it's time for us to offer our unison prayer so we can you know, reserve other thinking for next time. So I'll just uh, share the screen and uh, let's pray together.
Adieu, adieu, adieu. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day and get some rest in the Philippines. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.